your hands one more time right there. Come step in the aisle for me. I'm telling you there's a shift in this room. Y'all don't believe it, but it is. Lift your hands, woman of God. The winds of change are blowing in your direction. By the time you get back home, I don't know who these three young men are, but the Lord said, I've heard your prayers. heard your intercession and God said to tell you that my power is about to arrest them you're not going to have another sleepless night over them uh -uh. tonight the spirit of peace is about to overshadow you and overtake you The Lord said, even in your body and your female reproductive system, God said, I'm causing healing to come. Oh, da 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 da, my soul. And God said, I'm drying up every infirmity. Ah, na na na, my soul. Even what you've been dealing with for the last seven to ten years, the Lord said to tell you that I'm causing healing to come to you. You will not leave this state the same. But the winds of change are going to follow you back home, saith the Lord. And God said, I'm even going to give you the means to move. Oh, my God. He said, don't worry about it. God said, I'm sending supernatural assistance. And I see you packing the boxes. And God said, can I tell you what it said? He said, I'm not going to give you just anything. God said, I'm going to take you back to the place of where they denied you. And now that no is going to become a yes. Somebody open your mouth.
the Lord is preparing a table for you. There have been those that know that you're the calling, but they've gone around the table picking everybody up. And this has been something that's happened for my little boy.
that's going to release, release another measure of weight in this room. And so I need you to help him praise him at the count of three. Can y'all help up? Can y'all help up? Can y'all help up? Because God is shifting him. Come on. One, two, three. Come on, help. about this convocation. God is mantling you for the next. If the any man had his way, this wouldn't even have happened, but, but you pushed through. And the Lord said that this next mantle that's about to fall on your shoulders is going to set you up for the next seven years of ministry. Even the things that you've written down on paper and in prayer and private time, even on this week, see your yellow notepad and I see you writing and, and, and just talking to the Lord about some things. And there are even things that the Lord said that you have before him that he's going to deal with even before you get back home. Can somebody just give God praise for Bishop real quick? Oh, I, I mean, for real, for real. Oh, y'all playing with it. Can't... I'm doing this for a reason. I need you to open your mouth and praise him for, for the first family right now. Come on, come on.
the reason I had them do that is because the Lord said that I'm singing the praises out in front of you. Because every battle that you will stand in front of in this next season, praise will precede you. And it will be a sign of victory before you ever step your foot on the ground. I see your feet stepping on new territory. I don't know anything. I'm telling you what I see. I see you breaking ground on new territory. I see you building from the ground up. I see God putting you in the company of millionaires that are getting ready to finance your vision. There is someone that you're already in contact with. It is a gentleman that I am looking at that has been watching you from afar off and they have been studying you and observing you. And the Lord said they are about to release something into your hands that is going to finance the next phase of this ministry. The Lord said, get ready. Oh, my God. And the Lord said, as I do this for the ministry, there are things that I'm doing for you personally. Because of your sacrifice and your labor, the Lord said that I'm coming to your house. Oh, can somebody shout, God is coming to Bishop's house. Man of God, God said, I'm even matching you with this this next grace for this, these next group of leaders that are coming to sit at your feet and I see you pouring and pouring. And the Lord said, this group that is coming are those that are going to pour back into you. Not that those that are here are not pouring, but God said there's another level of uh, measure of pour that is about to come into you. And I hear God saying, this is for years. I'm talking about going back 25, 30 years in your life that this harvest is coming up for you. Mm -hmm. for, for, for the seed and the backbone of leaders that you pushed and supported. And, and some of them are coming back to you. Oh my God. I, I, I see some of them coming back to you. Some, so even some that have spoken in a, a negative light or way. I hear God say, I'm calling some to come back and apologize. I'm coming some, I'm calling some to come back and kneel at your feet. I'm coming, I'm calling some to come even submit themselves to you. And so the Lord said, get ready. The next seven years, the next phase of your life. Uh, 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 uh. I hear God saying that as I do it for the ministry, I'm going to do it for your house. So as you break ground for ministry, God said you're going to break ground for your house. Oh, God. God said get ready. Woman of God, the cover your intercession. I just, your intercession comes up to God as a sweet Smell and savor, and I hear the Lord saying that you're about to watch your prayers tangibly be in your hands. You're about to watch your prayers tangibly be in the lives of those that you're connected to, even for your feet. You're going to watch what you pray for, even while he was in your womb. You're going to watch it begin to manifest in this season. It's been a long time coming, but God said the change is here. There's a grace that God is putting over your family. And, and the Lord said, this is the season and this is the time. I literally see people coming and pouring at your feet because of all you poured out. Your running days are over. I'm just going to put it like that. I'll talk to you later, but your running days are over. God is mantling you. Can I just say this publicly? Because you, you are your father's successor. Can I say this? That all you is all you. You running from it. But God said your running days are over. And I hear God say, I'm going to keep letting you run in circles because you're going to keep running into my will. He said, it's over. He just, he just simply tell him, it's over. 
He said, I want the yes now, for real. He said, I spared you from the car accident. Oh, my God. I don't even know nothing about an accident, but I'm telling you what I just heard him say. He said, I spared you to do my will. I spared you to do my will. I spared you to walk by your father's side and fulfill your God-given assignment. He said, I don't give you enough time. He said, I want my time now. There's a grace that's falling on this family. And what I need you to do, I, what I just saw in the spirit, I need everybody to get, get some money in your hands. Get something in your hands right now. Get some money in your hands. Come on. Everybody. Everybody. Oh. Get some money in your hands. I have to do what I see God doing in the spirit for Bishop. I have to do it. And Bishop, this is what I see in the spirit. God said this is your season of recompense and restitution. And in the spirit, as I saw people coming back and submitting to you, and some even coming to apologize, and even some coming to repent, I saw them throwing gifts at your feet. And so prophetically, we're going to begin the prophecy tonight. Everybody that got money in your hands all over this room, I want you to come and drop this money at Bishop's feet. Come on, all over the room, drop it, drop it, drop it, come on. And you can also give by Cash App. You can look to the screen. If you want to sow by Cash App, if you don't have cash, go to his Cash App right now and sow something right now. Bishop, this is what I saw in the spirit. I saw people coming and throwing down gifts at your feet. The Lord said, recompense and restitution. Everything you've called out, everything you've given, God said it's coming back in triple measure. It's coming back. For the last 25 years, I don't know what 25 even represent, but for the last 25 years, the Lord said it's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. Come on. It's coming back. Come on. So it. Come on. Now don't, don't go sit down. I want you to stand up because we're going to do something else. And then I'm leaving. I'm getting out your way. Come on. Come on. Now this is what I want you to do. Everybody stand to your feet at the count of three. I want y'all to start praising God for Bishop's harvest. And Nehemiah, I want you to start dancing on top of this money. Not your father, I want you to start dancing on it. Because it's going to speak of a legacy and longevity and what God is going to do, not just in his life, but to the generations that come to his line. At the count of three, I wanted everybody to go up in a praise. And I'm telling you, if you're, that I want you to hear God. I don't prophesy about money unless God tell me. I want you to hear what the Lord just said to me. As Nehemiah begins to dance on top of this money, there is financial miracles and breakthroughs that are about to fall in this room. Before the week is over, some of y'all gonna go to your account and you gonna see unexpected money in there. I'm not just telling you that, I'm prophesying what he said. I'm telling you that there is a financial release in this atmosphere. There are angelic hosts that are in this room right now. Now, y'all can play with me if you don't believe me. It's all right. But there are angelic hosts. Joe, the Lord is about to release this into your hand. Oh, my God. There are things that you need to do. And the Lord said in this next phrase, I'm going to release the my God, there is a substantial, substantial amount of money that is about to fall in your hand. And I'm not just talking about for personal stuff. I'm talking about to fund that album in the ministry and to go into the studio. There are things that you kind of put on the shelf and said, okay, God, all right, I'll, you know. But
But the Lord said that there are things that he's about to release to you even for your coming this week. Oh, my God. The Lord said there were some things that you left to the side. I said, God, well, I'll get to when I get to it. And the Lord said, because you sacrificed and even came this week. The Lord said, by the time you get that call, oh, my God, I hear your answer machine. I hear it. I know what I hear. And the Lord said, by the time you get home, mm -hmm, what you lamented over and what kept you up for the last six to seven days, the Lord said, you will lament over it no more. The Lord said, I'm giving you peace. And I'm releasing, not the need, but I'm releasing more than enough. I'm telling you in this next phrase, y'all better go up and appraise in this room. Nehemiah, get rid of the debts of this money. At the count of three, if you're in the need of release, I don't care if you're waiting on a house, a settlement, you better go up and this praise at the count of three. One, two, three. Come on, praise him all over this room.
give the Lord just two more minutes. I just want to confirm the word of the Lord. I was in the back dancing. And I remember the Lord brought it back to me. I, I had to come back to get my wallet. Now, ECC, wave your hand. Now, if I've been pastoring you for over eight years, why wave your hand. Remember those Sundays I would get up and I would grab my wallet? And so when I was back there, I had to come back to the front, so I almost told somebody to come to get it. But there's an overflow, hear me. I'm not gonna ask you for another offering. But remember last night when I told you your offering at that moment was your what? I want you to, now everybody, this is not for you. Hear me. If you don't got the faith to hear what I'm telling you, this ain't yours. All right, she's a prophet, and I'm a prophet too. And so we both heard it. So I was ready to, so when she said it, I got both wallets. I'm smart enough now that if you're going to speak over something, get all of it, God. I might as well get my checkbooks, too. Now, I'm going to only tell you what has worked for me. And then we're going to give God two more minutes. I remember seasons of drought. And I would grab my wallet. And... So then I just thought about that one of the other spaces here, August 1st, we're moving into that one, too. And I need about five million dollars to make that look like what I want it to look like. And I remember the God when I didn't have no y'all. I would grab my wallet and I'd be like, remember all those seeds? Remember those blank tickets? Remember when I gave up birthday stuff so that the church could prosper to the God of my seed? To the God of my sacrifice. So is that for everybody? Because if you're not a seed sower, this ain't yours. If you're not a giver, this ain't yours. I'll be a bold enough to say if you're not a tither, this might not be yours too. But if I were you, I'd quickly repent for not being a giver, for being sin. I'd get it quickly. I'd be I'd quickly start repenting. And say, whatever you're about to do in the next two minutes, don't leave me out. I'm not going to give you no countdown. You grab your checkbook, your... I'm telling you, it's not for everybody. You're going to have to... You feel this too? Out of the matter of two or three, four, five, give God, I gave you my seeds. Now, before we dance... Bishop told me to make sure that he had something to say. But there's a prophetic word in your mouth about this. Can I give it to you to Mike now? Is that okay? You lead us into the prayer. I'll say this. Bishop is on it. There's a release of finances in this house. That's gonna be really crazy. And let me tell you something. I'm telling you now. There's about five businesses in here that are about to be birthed before the end of October. There's some money that's about to be released that you didn't expect. If you don't believe God, that's all right. Don't come and ask for what I get. This is the season that God is sending enough for ministry and for us, Bishop. There is no time for doubt in this season. Just as Ezekiel did, he followed instructions. All you need to do is obey. Stop trying to figure it out and just obey God. And all you got to do is make a declaration that is coming to my house. Can I say something right here, Bishop? I didn't want to have words. I just came to sneak in. Woman of God, there's two books down in your loins. The Lord said, pull them out. Pull the tablet back out your nightstand and get back to writing. Don't know about that, my heart. 
One is a journal, just turn to prayer and prophetic ministry. God said, get it running and get it moving. Don't mind the shit. Don't know what's been going on. But God is getting ready to mend some things together in your family in a few days. Come and chill. He's getting ready to put things back together. Nobody else, child. All I need, that my shit that ever high. All I need you to do is with every device, you may not carry your wallet. We got cell phones with all of our account information in it. We got everything in here that's necessary for God to bless us. All I want you to do is repeat these words. God, even in my place, that I may not understand it, I'm going to obey your word. I'm going to step out of faith. I'm going to believe what you said, and I expect it. I'm looking for it, and I'll sow back in to the kingdom when you bless me. If you believe God, you're going to give him praise right there. Shut up. I can come a whole time like
more time for this. I need you. Pray. For every mountain. For every mountain. You brought me over. You brought me over. For every trial. For every trial. You've seen me through. Seen me through. For every blessing. For every blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For every blessing. For every blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For every blessing, hallelujah, hallelujah, for every blessing, for every blessing, hallelujah, for every blessing. 